for verse 1. He said, if the Lord has not been on our side, <laughs> let Israel see. Next verse. If the Lord has not been on our side, when people attacked us, next verse, they would have swallowed us alive when their anger fled against us. The flood would have engulfed us. The torrent would have swept us over. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So they said stage three, kidney disease. And three months later, they were going to check how progressive it was. My daughter's birthday was three days away to be 17. You know how many things flashed through my mind? You mean I can no longer use the washroom on my own? I cannot sleep? I have to depend on somebody else to wear my clothes? How many more, fat? and it was three days to Father's Day. How many more Father's Day will I be able to celebrate? It's not because I was in praying. I was praying. <laughs> but the Bible says he will make us rule in the midst of our enemies. We live in a world full of enemies, full of demonic Forces. They are not attacking you because of you. They are attacking you because you believe in Christ Jesus. They want to make sure that you, you indeed know what you have believed. So in the process, I was praying. I was saying, God, how can this be? What should I do? But I'm here today. Not, in, not on any drug not on any medication. In that three months, when they found out, they found out that the kidney was healed. In three months, without medication. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when we say, count your blessings, name them one by one, and see what God has done, learn to count it. January, February, from the beginning of this year till now, I can recall different attack of the enemy on me and my family. <laughs> Some families cannot even handle one, one, and they are finished. In the midst of it, somebody sent me a video, a video, the next day. And the video was, change your food that you eat. That the food that you're eating is killing you. I said, what? You know, when you pray, you have to listen to the voice of God and expect answers to your prayers. God may answer you by somebody laying their hands on you to heal you. God might send you an information that will transform your life. Don't be so rigid and carried and say, you know what? I know how God is going to heal me. God created all things and he can use anything, even your food and your water, to heal your body. But be open This year alone, I was recounting with one of our ministers yesterday. 
We've seen God heal high blood pressure, heal diabetes, heal, heal ear ringing, heal depression, heal all manners of sickness. These are major attacks. So when we have opportunity like this, and we are in God's presence, we take it seriously. We testify. It's not by our strength that we are standing. It is by God's grace. Because the enemy is raging around and they want to sweep us away. You know what they will say? Don't you know the pastor of Great Grace Ministry is sick with diabetes or is sick with high blood pressure or is sick with uh, kidney problem? Would that be a good testimony to the body of Christ? May your, may your testimony not bring shame to the body of Christ. May people see you and give glory to God for his faithfulness. If it had not been for God, the enemy would have swallowed us up. I live it every day. I see it every day. We were here 2020, the midst of global pandemic. A woman made lunch that, he normally, that she normally makes for her children. Saved it. She was sitting across the dining. The child ate the food that the mother cooked and choked on it and died. Lunch took the son away. How many times do you eat in a day? Are you people here? I said, how many times do you eat in a day? As much as you can. And you think it's because you chew the, the food properly. That's why you are here. It's because God sustained you. A number of you might be here sick in your body. I'm going to tell you. God that healed me is able to heal you. A lot of pastors will not share this story because if, you, if they share it, they think uh, the pastor don't have faith. That's nonsense. Don't allow the enemy to, 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 to put an accusation over you, accusing you in your prayers because you are hiding the truth from your people. I'll say it again. Don't allow the enemy to have an accusation over you because when you pray, it will be telling you, you know you are lying because you are deceiving the people. So, no matter what you are going through or no matter what you might go through, know that God is dependable. Know that God is able. And know that God is willing. And that God really, really loves you. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, don't be scared. No matter what comes your way, the grace of God will carry you through. He said, thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph. Some people will think you will triumph when there is no trial. You will not have a testimony when there is no trial. It is when you go through that trial and you come out on the other side still glorifying God that you really, really have a testimony that brings glory to God.
Praise the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. When we come to church and we make confessions, that from the crown of my head to the sole of my seat, to the sole of my feet, I will never be sick again. Don't take it lightly. You are programming your destiny and programming your body. Even when you are already afflicted, the Bible says, with your mouth, confession is made unto salvation. With your mouth, confession is made unto healing. With your mouth, confession is made for deliverance. <laughs> so I'm here to encourage you that God, God is faithful. God is good. And God is willing to help you. Nothing is too difficult for God. It's not a a cliche, or is that, is that what they call it? It's not a cliche. It's real. Nothing is impossible for God. I want you to personalize it. Nothing is impossible for my God. <laughs> wow. Let's try it again. Nothing is impossible for my God. One more time. Nothing is impossible for my God. Yeah. Lift up your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. How easy was it for you to lift it up? Very easy. You see how, how high this hand can go? See how high this hand can go? A few days ago, they told me that I have a frozen shoulder. <laughs> Are you hearing me? <laughs> they said you have a frozen shoulder. If you know John McCain, do you, anybody know John McCain? John McCain, the late John McCain, you know when he wants to wave, he can only wave to this height because he had a frozen shoulder. I said, the enemy is a liar. With my hands lifted up, and my heart filled with praise, with a heart of thanksgiving, and I will bless you, O oh Lord. With my hands lifted up, with my hands lifted up, and my mouth filled with praise, and my mouth filled with praise. With a heart of thanksgiving, oh Lord, I will bless you, oh Lord. and wave them to God and say thank you Jesus Father we thank you that we are able to lift our hands our hands are not frozen oh Father we thank you Father God that we are standing with our feet we thank you Father for all that you've done we bless your name oh God that whatever the enemy meant for evil you turn it for our good for our testimony to glorify your holy name Father, we worship you. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. We give you praise, O oh God, that this hand that I lifted, I declare, Father, they will never beg for bread. 
I declare in the name of Jesus that this hand lifted up with no, no sickness in their life or in their home. In the mighty name of Jesus, this hand that are waving to you, O oh God, they will never lack in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that they will have strength, they will have vitality, they will have all that is required to be able to lift their hand and to praise you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, give them a new song in this season. Father, let your word manifest in their life. Let your word be a testimony in their life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every attack of the enemy against anyone here, under the sound of my voice, I command it to come to nothing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every principalities and power, I paralyze you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every works of darkness, I command your whole to be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every diagnosis that have not been revealed, I command it heal in the name of Jesus. Every hypertension, every diabetes, every arthritis, I command you out in the name of Jesus. Every power that come to challenge the authority of Jesus Christ in your name. I declare that they come to nothing in the mighty name of Jesus. Every accuser that have accused you day and night. Today I declare that the judgment of God is against them right now in the name of Jesus. This year I declare you will finish it rejoicing. I declare you finish it with a new song. I declare that God will be glorified with your life. Your testimony will lift many up. In the name of Jesus. Your money will not go to the wrong hands. Your money will not go for hospital bills. Your money will not go for buying caskets. Your money will not be for wasters. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you with the strength of God and the life of God in me. And I declare that you're going out and your coming is secured and protected in the name of Jesus. I bless you with the power of God. I bless you with the power of the Holy Ghost. I bless you with health. I bless you with prosperity. I bless you with grace in the name of Jesus. Every weapon that has risen against you, I declare the fear on your behalf. Father, we bless your name. Father, we honor you for such a time like this. We thank you, Father, for your faithful. Father, let their testimony be sweeter than mine. Let their testimony be a great one. Let their testimony be that, God, you are good. And let people see them and give glory to your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. You come in? Let's come first. Hallelujah.